So if Wowdeer are better from the Valiant for the mage uh, units, of course Lilia are the best of these three mage, but at the moment we focus it on the Wowdeer, is Wowdeer better from the Valiant? If the Wowdeer have 5-5-5 five, 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 and basically level 40 to open the was skill, and Valiant will have only 5-1-1-1. Now we're going to cover a PvP section, also a PvE, where you fight Pechimods or Darkling Patrols or Darkling Forts. Now starting with the PvP, actually Wodir do a dual nearly allegiance hero skill damage and they he inflict with 20% uh, attack reduction, which is huge to three legions basically. And this make him as a perfect hero for the alliance wars or this type of wars where there is a lot of players on the map and you can actually hit more from one legion. Now while their uh, legion have pretty nice uh, survivability damage factors, what I mean by that is he give 10% magic bonus, 10% uh, HP also increase the hero skill damage uh, it didn't matter if he is deputy or commander he will increase this hero damage with 15% that's a what also he gets this shield this shield is shield factor 600 since we're going to have this to level 5 and this is pretty nice survivability with the HP he actually give and the damage and the hero skill damage I think is pretty balanced and nice passive skills now the last skill is uh, deals hero skill damage to the two nearly legions and here is actually to three nearly legions magic damage factor 700 this is huge by the way now his spell is like two times less damage from the valiant spell so after we know he have pretty nice attack survivability skills also he hit multiple targets where actually we can use wilder and my opinion is in a lance war when you face a lot of people on one place and you definitely want to hit more from one target or when you make surprise attack when the enemy is building some kind of tower and you can just go and hit a lot of players since they are stuck together there but these actually are the only cases you're going to actually need to outdo when there is a multiple targets that are going to be hit this don't include forts, forts are single target, target. Uh, this don't in include Darkling Patrols since you're going to do Darkling Patrols one by one. This don't include uh, PvP when it's one hero against one hero. This don't include Behemoths. So far there is a really specific moment where you want to use Wildir. So let's go on the Valiant, currently my Valiant is 5 or one one but let's imagine it's five one 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 now if we check the first skill basically the rage skill is deals hero skill damage to the target and surrounding legions magic damage factor 100 1200 and inflict phrase reducing their march speed by 20 percent for three seconds each additional target reduced the damage dealt to each target so like while there he also hit two surrounding legion is pretty huge the skill damage factor are two times better from the wildir basically not two times since we have wildir 5555 and actually one the was spell open which is 700 uh, skill damage factor here is uh, 1200 but it's way more the damage in general march speed reduction 20 percent this is huge this is huge not only fighting against enemy legion not only fighting mobs i mean darkling patrols dark creatures and so on this 20 percent are really huge since he will actually reduce the time till the enemy come to your legion and perform some kind of damage if the enemy is uh, cavalry if it's um, infantry it didn't matter all these uh, heroes will get this march speed reduction now going over the rest of the trees uh, he have hero skill damage bonus 5% since this is 1-1 one, one. March speed bonus 10% which is nice definitely want to have your mages a mobility to move around definitely so he, they can escape or go far away and start hitting the enemy now going on the next skill is magic units hero skill critical rate bonus is 4% magic units defense bonus is 5% 
So here is more like attacking skills. Both these two skills are actually uh, more, more offensive skills. And the only defensive skill we actually have is this magic units defense bonus is 5%. And jumping to the last one is magic defense reduction is 10%. March speed reduction is 10%. When in the battle, Velen has 20% chance to inflict magic defense break and freeze on the target, reducing the magic defense by 10% and their march speed by 10% for 3 seconds. So he have march speed reduction from the rage skill, also he have a chance to reduce with 10 more percent. So this hero for me don't have balance. This hero is purely attacking heroes, pure offensive hero. Till well, there is actually balanced between attack and defense. Here we have pure defense, offense, sorry, with a lot of march speed reduction, which is crucial when you do a PvP. So after we check the Valiant skills, which for me is really offensive one, the Valiant have something that well, there don't have. And this is really important because this is the actual PvP talents. These talents, these talents is not a PvP talents. This talents is the PvP talents. Excel when controlling the action of the movement of the enemy legions in the battle. This is your PvP, the control section. I didn't actually start putting uh, some talents point on my Velen, but definitely this is a control section and you have pretty nice uh, things here. So yeah, definitely the control section are way better from the PvP section. The magic section is mostly focused on your legion, basically your mage units. The control focus is when you're controlling the action and movement of the enemy legion. Now so far for Velen and if I have to actually pick between these two heroes, do I actually make Velen 5111 or do I make uh, Wildir uh, 555 and eventually 1? I would definitely prefer to have a Valiant just because he have a control tree. Uh, Lilia don't have this control tree. Also, Wilder don't have this control tree and this is a PvP tree. So I can use him as a commander on my Legion when I'm fighting against other players. For the normal mobs also, uh, both are good uh, heroes since they do almost same damage. I mean, not same damage, sorry, but uh, Valiant do way more damage from the Wildir. And normally you're going to fight one by one the Darkling Patrols, or if you attack a Behemoth, you're going to fight uh, just one target, basically the Behemoth. So, this is my opinion. I think Valiant is better from the Wildir. Valiant 5111 five, uh, five, against the Wildir 5555, five, 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 and eventually one. So let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. Uh, I'm curious to hear your opinion. And yeah, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.